23rd of May, and this is going to be my first full, like, follow me around, let's talk about what I'm doing vlog. Um, it is a Thursday. I really want these to start being, like, week long, but I think to start, um, since it's Thursday, I've been so busy the last couple of days, I think I'm just going to do these, like, this one from Thursday through Sunday, so I can upload it on Monday for you guys. Um, but right now, I'm headed off to work. I'm actually running pretty late. Um, so, I'm just going to probably listen to the radio. I'm not even going to turn on an audiobook. But right now, I am reading Before She Knew Him by Peter Swanson. It's the book I got. Um, I showed you guys in a, another vlog I did. Um, it's a fun thriller. Like, I'm only a few chapters in. It's already not exactly what I'm expecting, and I'm not super excited for it. But we'll talk more as I get deeper into the book. Right now, I'm going to head to work and maybe give you, like, a little clip. And then I will check in with you guys probably during my lunch and let you know how much I've been reading. like three different times when I was driving back from home during my lunch break so I don't know why I call it a lunch break because most people eat during their breaks but not me I am bringing my lunch um, I'm having like a Mexican spaghetti my husband made the other day so I eat when I get back I spend my lunch break just to like take care of errands play with the kids just kind of be around the family and then I eat when I come back. So I have to get back into the building right now. I just wanted to check in and let you know how much I read during the first part of my morning and that was zero pages. So I was here to work, right? So I was doing my job and doing what the company pays me to do, which is talk to customers. I just didn't have much time in between calls. And then when I did, I started like editing some clips that I did this morning. So that way I feel like it'll be easier to do these weekly vlogs if I can kind of edit every day as I go instead of just compiling a lot of footage and then waiting until the end so I'm gonna try that because um, this whole like weekly vlog thing is still something I haven't done before so I am just starting chapter three I started this one a couple days ago and I said this one I don't know how I'm feeling about it it's still really new I just think that the silent patient ruined me for all thrillers for the rest of my life because that one just was so good and it gets you right from the very beginning. This one, not so much. Hen is a little bit dry. Her husband's a little dry. Matthew, I just don't really feel scared by him yet. And I think that that obviously is a thriller and you're not sure if her neighbor's a murderer or not. He's supposed to seem a little creepy or you're supposed to like believe he could be a murderer. And so far he's just kind of like a goofy teacher. So I don't really, I don't know how I feel about it yet. So... There is something I don't I don't know what to say because I know why I don't really like it but I don't want to give anything away as a spoiler so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna talk about why I don't know about how I feel about the book and I'm just gonna put a timestamp so if you want no spoilers I mean it's a very baby spoiler but it is a spoiler so if you don't want to know anything just click through to the timestamp okay so the reason I don't know if I like this book is because we already know that Matthew is a killer and I felt after reading the synopsis that it was supposed to be a little bit more ambiguous. Like, is he or isn't he? Like, we just weren't supposed to know if it was all in her head or if her, he really did kill this person. And he did. Like, he killed, like, him and, like, three or four other people. So we already know that this is the case because Hen goes into his office after she meets her new neighbor and she sees this, like, trophy because murderers do that. They collect things. And she knows, because she's all crazy, she already knows that this was something from that murder. And the question that I thought in the book was the synopsis is whether or not he actually did it or if it's just a coincidence. And then you see in chapter, that all happens in chapter one. And then it starts out chapter two in the neighbor's point of view. And he talks about how he did kill him and a bunch of other people. So that just kind of gave away what I really liked about the synopsis and what I thought the book was going to be. Um, so obviously I'm only in chapter three. There's a lot more to read. So I will keep you updated and let you know kind of how I'm feeling about it. All right, with that, I'm going to go into work so I can do my job and hopefully do a little bit of reading and I will check in with you guys later. Okay, you guys, so we are back in the car it is now what is it Sunday 
Uh, the last thing I vlogged, I think, was on like Thursday, and I accidentally deleted all of the clips that I did from Friday, and then I didn't vlog anything on Saturday. Um, but now it is like almost three o'clock on Sunday. I have had such a busy morning with the kids and the husband and the house. Um, I haven't read anything, but I'm about ready to run a ton of errands. So I thought I would just do like a quick clip for you guys um, and take you with me a little bit on my errands. I don't know how exciting they're going to be, but I am going to be listening to Before She Knew Him, which I actually do have the book with me because I've been taking it with me everywhere. So I did read a little bit. Um, you guys saw some clips there. So I'm now in chapter three, but I'm still just really struggling to get into this book. So, oh no. No, no, I'm sorry. I, I am actually, I read all of chapter three, so I'm in chapter four now. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna try listening to this on auto, like on my script, so on audiobook, um, and see if I like that. I am really excited though. I've been using script for a little bit. So I actually got from my work, we have like this little reward system thing where you earn points and then you can use points to buy stuff on this website. And so through my exchange points, I bought a six month subscription to script so I don't have to pay for it anymore. Yay! Anywho, so I am going to do these errands because I actually have one place to go to that does, closes at four, so I have to hurry. So I'm gonna go run some errands, listen to the audiobook, and I will check in with you guys like as we're running errands. Um, I'll let you know how the audiobook okay, is going. So I finished the first errand. The second place I wanted to go to, I drove all the way out there to, just to find out that they were closed today. They're normally open, but with the Memorial Day holiday tomorrow, apparently the store is closed. So that's really frustrating. Um, so now I am just going to go into um, the grocery store. I've got a bunch of groceries that I have to get, and then that'll be it. So I have been listening to the audiobook for Before She Knew Him, and I don't know how I feel about the narrator because I feel like, again, like The Silent Patient has ruined me because the narrator for that book, and actually The Silent Patient had two narrators, a boy and a girl, and the girl narrator was actually the same one from The Girl on the Train, and I just think they were so good that this narrator just isn't as isn't as good, but I'm getting more familiar with the way that she reads. Um, I've actually blown through four chapters. So when I started, I was just beginning chapter four and now I just started chapter eight. So that's really good. So, um, now hopefully I'll be able to listen to a lot more. So this book is one that has like a lot of little chapters. I think there's like 46 chapters in the entire book and I'm in chapter eight. So we will see. Um, I am liking it a little bit more, although I'm still disappointed because it's just not not what I was expecting it to be, but I need to not let that change how I feel about the actual book. So, I don't know. I still have to finish it, I guess, to decide how I actually feel about it. It may, it may change. There's still time to change my mind. Anyway, so I have to go in and get the grocery shopping done, and I will check in. and like sweaty in the car right now. I feel so gross. Okay, so I'm done at the grocery store. This was the last of the errands that I had to run, so I'm just gonna go home and see the kiddos and the hubby. I don't know if I'm gonna have time to do any more clips today, um, but I am happy that I started the audiobook because I am now on chapter 15, um, and I'm really liking the book. So I wouldn't say really liking it, but I am enjoying it more. So I, I just don't understand where it's going to go because I, again, I was looking for more of a mystery and there is not really a mystery. Everything is just right out there. So I'm not really sure where it's going, but I am getting more interested in it. Um, I do still feel like some of the characters are a little dry and I'm not totally loving the killer. Um, it's got a little like desk. Dexter-esque type thing going. Um, he just doesn't scare me. I'm sorry. If you're going to be killing people in a thriller, I need to be afraid of you. And I'm just not afraid of this guy. So anyways, um, I will probably try to check in with you guys either later tonight or tomorrow. I don't know. Um, but I'm going to go home because I'm hot. And so I will check in and let you guys know. Um, I'm hoping that now that I switched over to the audiobook, I'm still going to physically read it. Um, I'm hoping that I can finish this probably see Tuesday so I can start another book because I do want to get one more book read for the end of the month um yes so I will check in with you guys Hi guys it is Monday it is Memorial Day so I hope you are having a wonderful and happy Memorial Day and hopefully for you you 
are off, unlike me. <laughs> so I just wanted to close out the vlog here just because um, I have to head to work and I just don't want this to become too repetitive in one vlog. I'm going to be honest, this is basically very true to life. I go to work, I come home, I run some errands. Um, but I at least wanted to close it out, not in my car. So I am now on actually chapter 15. That's one thing about audiobooks that drives me crazy is that the chapters in the audiobook don't always sync up with the chapter in the physical book. So I am technically in the physical book now on chapter 15. I will say I am starting to see where it's going. It is definitely taking the story to a place I did not expect and I'm I'm here for. So still not what I wanted. I wanted more of a mystery, but that's okay. It is, I can't hold that against the book just because my expectations were different. Um, so it is getting to a different place. Probably going to be like a three to four star somewhere in their book, but we will see. I don't know. I still have a lot of chapters to go because I'm in chapter 15 and like 46 or 47 chapters. So I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your week. I'm going to continue vlogging because um, I liked this. This was fun. I just hope that next time there's not so many clips of me in the car. <laughs> um, anyways, thank you so much for all of uh, my both existing and new subscribers. I have seen a lot of you kind of come on and subscribe in the my unintended hiatus. Um, I was just so burned after Nano. I just couldn't do anything, but I'm going to do a whole video about that. Um, anyways, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will catch you guys